So let's jump into this. Let's go on to the first point that I think most important part, honestly, I, I would say that most men need when building a social circle and what you're going to need to do. And that is simply becoming the leader. Okay. In many lectures, I've already talked about the importance of leading, the importance of being like the leader of the tribe, why it's attractive to women. But this is also an important characteristic when it comes to building a social circle. Okay. You're going to be leading at almost every point and not even just in the interaction, even when the interaction's over, you're going to be leading. I already discussed the importance of leading by opening the interaction. That's like leading, transitioning into an introduction, a name introduction, transitioning into an IG or number close, suggesting that he comes out and parties with us again, following up with him. Those are all leading qualities. Like it's your job to do those things. You don't wait for the guy to like follow up with you because most people aren't going to do this. Shit. Most people aren't the leader. Okay. There's like the whole group's down here. There's one leader at the top. So if you're going to build your own social circle proactively, one of the most important characteristics is leading. Okay. So just to reiterate this point, one, one of the friends I made, this guy, Joe, I, I posted his um, IG into the chat I, before this kid that I met. He's a natural social circle guy. He never studied pickup, never studied game. He doesn't know anything about technical pickup. However, when I met this kid out, he already had a very big social circle. He was already successful with women. He was a natural at social circle. And when I met him, I met him out at a, a nighttime venue. And I think I was just in a, a, an area, this was pre-COVID years ago, actually. I met him out. There was a group of people around I was just interacting with, and he was two bodies over from me. And at some point, I just made like an observational statement about him. And that was how it started. Okay. From there, we just talked a little bit. I didn't even have that long of an interaction with him, but we exchanged names and that was it. About two, three weeks later, I was at the same venue and I saw him again, at which point we said, what's up? How you doing? Blah, 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 blah. We joked around a little bit and that was it for that night. And then I saw him a third time, like um, two weeks after that. And at this point I had already known he had a girlfriend but I saw him out and he was talking to some girl and she was actually really attractive. But at some point I went up to him and I was like, Oh, what's up, Joe. And as a joke, I was like, yo bro, like, yo, where's your girlfriend tonight? And I kind of like said it like laughing and joking to the point where he like started blushing. Cause it was kind of obvious. And the girl started to feel weird. And then the girl kind of like walked away, but me and him like joked about that, that situation later on. And then literally from that night, he asked for my phone number. And then one thing I noticed about him was, he continued to follow up with me through text message. Like the following week, he invited me out to a pregame at his house. He had a, he had an apartment that was really close to the bars. He invited me out. I didn't go. And then two weeks after that, he was like, Hey, by the way, dude, I'm hosting a barbecue this weekend. If you want to come by, like, you know, just bring some alcohol. So he invited me to the barbecue. I didn't go to the barbecue either. And then like a month after that, he invited me out a third time at which point, Oh no, actually, I, I don't think I even went to the third invite, honestly. But what did happen was I was out like a month after all of this shit. And I made friends with another person who was like, yo, dude, there's an after party down the street. You should come. I was like, cool. He brings me to the after party. It was fucking lit. I was like, I was like, yo, is this your house? He goes, nah, dude, the homeowner's over there. And then he opens the door and it's fucking, it's Joe's apartment. And I was like, Joe, he's like, he's like, Kyle, what are you doing here? I was like, oh, this, he fucking invited me to the, to your party. And then from that moment on, like we were cool and we started hanging out. Okay. So that was how I met him. But all I'm trying to say, I'm telling you the story to reiterate the point of the importance of following up with somebody and constantly or consistently extending invites to them. He didn't even get me to go out until three or four invites like a month later. Okay. And actually I kind of met up with him by, by coincidence, but he was the one that was like, what's your phone number? I'll hit you up sometime. He took my phone number. He sent me the text message. He invited me out several times. And then eventually I went out. So that's what I'm saying with this guy's like the importance of becoming the leader is throughout every stage of the interaction, but it's also about following up with people and extending invites to them. Okay. You're following up with everybody you meet. Okay. And at a certain point you, you keep inviting people out enough. They're going to start turning to you when these bigger events come, come on or start happening. Meaning, if every weekend I've been doing something and I'm inviting people out and now suddenly it's Halloween weekend, everyone's going to start hitting you up asking, yo, what's good for Halloween? What are you doing for Halloween? 
Okay. If you do it enough, you'll get, you'll start building momentum to a point where all everybody's going to start reaching out to you because they know you're the guy that's got something going on. Okay. So huge, huge point. Like even if you just stop the lecture right there and you take everything I just said and really implement that shit hard, you will have a social circle at the very least like that alone, that will build you a social circle. Okay. Um, so it's actively making decisions for the, for the group to go out and inviting everybody to come. Okay. So let's say it's Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. You want to start thinking about what's a spot that I could go to this weekend. What's the nearest bar I could go to, or what's like a pop in food spot I could go to. What's like something I could do this weekend. And you want to start texting everybody that you've closed all, all your potential leads. You're going to start sending invites to them. Okay. You don't need to lie and say it's a massive party, but let's say earlier in the week, I met some dude at the gym. And then I told him, yeah, I'll hit you up sometime. We can get a workout in. And now it's Thursday night. I could text him. Yo, what are you doing this weekend? I think we're going to go check out XYZ Lounge if you want. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Shoot the text to the dude I closed at the gym. Yo, what are you doing this weekend? I think we're going to go check out XY Lounge. If you want, hop in or bring some friends. Send that text to him. Then I send the DM to like two or three other people that I closed at the club. Then I send the DM to... Uh, some random girl I closed off of cold approach. And then I send the text to a couple of my other friends that I normally go out with. And maybe I've already invited out like 10 different people at this point. And it's really just to go to some spot that has like happy hour food and drink. Okay. That's how I'm starting to organize something. That's me beginning to build a social circle. That's like the first beginning steps to building a social circle out of everybody I invited. A couple people will come out. Those people will then be out with me for the evening. And it's my job to be the leader. Okay. This is why pickup comes into play right now, because once we're out, it's a good idea to be social with them, but also be able to go out and bring girls into the group and start interacting with people, or maybe even pushing your, your boys into a couple approaches. You buy a round of drinks, you're having fun, you're getting women, or at least you're approaching women. It's exciting and it's fun. And you're providing an experience that most men can't do. Okay. Most guys can't go out and approach. Most guys aren't closing people at the gym and inviting them out to come get drinks. This is how this, this is the foundation to building a social circle. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and quick announcement, by the way, I just released my brand new 12 week mentorship program. So for anybody that's interested in leveling up and achieving their goals with women and dating, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we'll be reaching out to you to discuss further details. All right. I'll talk to you soon.